This is Meg from Fandango Movie Clips with things to know before you see Ant-Man. Like, if you're expecting Paul Rudd to go all Jeff Goldblum, spoiler, you're gonna be disappointed. Ant-Man marks the end of Phase 2 in the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, duh. It stars Paul Rudd as Scott Lang, aka Ant-Man. Michael Douglas portrays Hank Pym, the old Ant-Man. I mean, the original Ant-Man. Regardless, the man has aged like a fine wine. Basically, Dr. Hank Pym approaches his mentee and ex-con Lang with a proposition to get back in the saddle and execute a heist that will save the world. How will Lang pull it off? Obviously by donning an armed super suit that shrinks him into the size of an ant. How else? In the comics, Pym's Ant-Man is the original Avenger. Lang's Ant-Man is just a regular old superhero. For now. The cast also includes Corey Stoll as antagonist Darren Cross aka Yellow Jacket, and Evangeline Lilly as Hank Pym's daughter, Hope Van Dyne, who may or may not be the Wasp. I'm stoked how much Marvel is loving comedic directors and writers. Ant-Man is directed by Peyton Reed, director of Bring It On, Yes Man, and The Breakup, and written by every comedic writer in the biz, Edgar Wright, Joe Cornish, Adam McKay, and Paul Rudd. Turns out an ant costume can be pretty badass. Besides having the ability to shrink a man down to the size of an ant, it also provides Lang with super strength and stamina, finally proving size doesn't matter. It's not the size of the hero, it's how you use him. Or her. Also, Lang's cybernetic helmet allows him to communicate with insects. Um, that doesn't sound very badass. Well, whatever, it's an awesome combination of Iron Man's helmet and Autobot Transformer Bumblebee. Paul Rudd pulled a Chris Pratt and got real fit for the role. Michael Douglas stated Rudd's suit was altered because his ripped bod was bursting out of it from all of his intense training. The VFX team took special measures to create an interesting new take on shrinking flicks. Macro photography and motion capture was used to give the film a more experimental vibe. That means it's gonna look great in fancy film talk. And for all you haters who think Ant-Man is going to flop, get used to his tiny face. Marvel has already announced that Paul Rudd will be reprising his role in next year's Civil War. Possible end credit scenes might shed some light on what's to come. The Superhero Registration Act, Scott Lang being recruited by Tony Stark, Hank Pym being recruited by General Ross, Scott Lang being recruited by the Cap, Black Panther's reveal, Doctor Strange's reveal, Spidey joining the crew, Lang and Pym rattling superhero names, a callback to Thomas the Tank. But knowing Paul Rudd, he'll probably just show that clip from Mac and me. I'm Meg from Fandango Movie Clips. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and go see Ant-Man in theaters. And just remember, next time you see an ant, don't step on it. It could be a superhero.